I can't. I won't. And yet... It makes me wonder how a lot of um, other people have done this. And you know what I think they've done? They've probably gone into the emulator and they've reduced the speed. Because some fool, like, let people know, like, hey, this is what you gotta do. Like, this is what you can do. And you can, and it won't disable hardcore mode. So. I think now that the cat's out of the bag, like, I think that's how a lot of people did this particular achievement. The reason why I was like thinking, okay, good, was because I I thought in the back of my head the timing on the first one I thought like I might have had that down, and that it worked out that time. If I can just get the second one done, we might be able to get it. It's a big, it's a big if. I feel like I've got, the t I've got the timing on the first one. Me <laughs> bamba. Damn it. If I could get these three Chivos done though tonight, then that sets the way up for the low level run for tomorrow. Like literally I'll be starting the low level run tomorrow if I can get this done. Pretty exciting, huh? Pretty exciting. More Final Fantasy 7, oh! Messed up. I had like four or five in a row then. That sucks. Kill me. It. I had the timing. Shit.
<laughs> it's not that simple. It's not. Like how many how many pictures are there? Yeah, it's a, it's <laughs> it's it's a one in eight chance because there are two um, bits of the face on each bar. Oh, sorry. It's it's a it's a one in eight chance on the first two reels, and then a one in sixteen on the third. I'm having my own struggles with Node, JavaScript, fetch request, and streamable data. Uh. Maybe use uh, Chat GDP to help you analyze the data. <clears throat> fucking cat. This fucking cat. Maybe I should turn off my air conditioning at this point. Because I'm getting a little bit cold. I'm not keen to use chat GDP for anything I have not yet learned. Well, you say this now, but I'm fully, like, I fully admit my ignorance on a lot of things. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, use chat GDP to do your job for you. I'm just saying, like, it can, you know, make things a bit more efficient. So basically we've got this down to like two attempts per minute. But the attempts are of like low quality, I would say. I fucking had it then, but what does it say? 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 You need to have the first two parts of Kate Sid's face. But when you're about to get the last part, turbo fire it. So it skips the slot selection and gives you game over. This video explains it a lot better. Wow. That's right, and I believe that this video is no longer accessible. No, it's still here. Oh no, this is the PC version. I think. So if we have a one in 256 chance, well, let's say it this way. We have a 255 out of 256 chance that when we hit this final face, the game will automatically take it and move it to the next part of the slot. So, it's basically impossible to get unless we get really, really lucky. However, uh, Garland the Great, someone that many of you may know if you watch a lot of Final Fantasy VII content, he found a way to cheat the slots even further, cheat the black flag, and get the game to recognize game over, even if the game is supposed to move the slot over to the next thing. So the way this works is, like I said, when we hit this face, it will give me the face but then it will move it down to the next spot. But if you hit circle super fast, you can cancel out the animation of the slot moving and get the face anyway. So you'll see the slot start to move to the next thing, but then I will cancel out the limit break and the limit break will say, okay, what did he have? And see the three Kate Sith faces and give me game over. So let's see if we can do it. I don't get it every time, um, but let's see if we can do it. This is the one thing that, that, even with practice, you can sometimes screw up. So... Is this so fucked? We have crown, heart, bar, crown, Kate Sith, and then the face. So we're looking for heart, crown, or actually crown, heart, Kate Sith, or bar, Kate, crown, Kate Sith, there we go. Okay, 
so now we're right before the face. So now I'm going to let go of square, and at the same time, I'm going to smash circle as fast as possible. And if we do it right, we'll get game over. Let's see if we get it. We got it. Fantastic. So there you go. Hmm. Hmm. And it's just that simple. Um... I don't think that complex challenges that are difficult to understand the objective are very good. Oh, you mean uh, in terms of retro achievements? I totally agree. Um, I think um, the challenge itself shouldn't be like, you know, soul crushing, number one. But also, like, I don't care if like English is your third language. Like, instructions need to be explicit. That's That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Um, but as far as this, this is like pretty complex shit. <laughs> Bonk. Uh, anyway, uh, I think I've, I've got it. Um, uh, I mean, I don't think I've got it. Let me, let me just attempt again. When I was pressing square to stop it, I didn't realize holding square stop stops it. As in, it does not move. I thought it just like, you know, yeah. In any case, if I if I try really hard, I might be able to do this. Okay, no whammies. So like that, right? Okay, and remember, according to slots here, we need to get like um. So which which direction is this uh it falling in? Okay, it's going down. So it's going down. So if we see Kate Sith, Kate Sith and a crown. We ignore. And then the next Kate Sith. Sorry, yeah. The next full Kate Sith. That's the face. And then we've got a smash. Okay. So let's see if we can get this. So, um, crown, Kate Sith, crown. Crown, Kate Sith, face. I don't know if this is it, but I'm going to go for it. That's unfortunate. As you can tell, like, without, like, because ostensibly hardcore, you you're not allowed to save save scum. So you've really got to just like, you've got to just do it. You can't cheat it, and I'm pretty sure that they have ways of figuring out if you have done things to the game. Um. But I mean, this is why I stream when I do retro achievements live. People can see exactly what I've done and. I won't be accused of, accused of cheating, um, but some of these um, some of these achievements are really fucking hard to do. You have to believe me. Like, like the Iron Sword one. I think that um, that was exacerbated by a lack of information online.
I wonder if like um there's something online like to the effect of like Final Fantasy 7 always get game over hate sick. Uh, I mean, I, I would like to let it keep going, but... Like, I, I don't want to put this um, this clip on YouTube and then get flagged for doing the full Final Fantasy song in the background. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, get this. Okay, so the evil flag, this is what the evil flag is. It will prevent you from getting face, 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 unless your game time in seconds is divisible by 64. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's start up a game. I think it will have down the bottom, like a, like a real-time counter. Um, just like so. Maybe it's the final slot. Okay. Not quite yet. Um, I did say 4 o'clock, didn't I? I'll, I'll go for a little bit longer, but... This is fascinating to me, this six, divisible by 64 bullshit. Damn it. Another hour would be good. It's the weekend, my man. Yeah, I know, I know. I shall try. I shall try. It, it would be, it'd be optimal if I was able to get this because then I could start the low level run tomorrow. Not that I'm totally enthused about doing fucking Final Fantasy VII again after only eight months, but it is what it is, you know. Okay, now the evil flag is uh, what every, your your game time has to be divisible by, um, oh, so at the moment you notice how it's paused. Okay, so this may make it a little bit, in, a little bit more interesting. Okay, let's do the calculations here, boys. And girls, I don't know who's looking. Okay, we have uh, we have ninety two hours. We have thirty eight minutes, and we have twenty seven seconds. Okay, now it needs to be divisible by sixty four. Right. So first, let's do 92 hours, 92 um, times 60, times 60. That's equal to 331,200 seconds. 38 minutes times 60 is equal to 2,280 and you got the 27 seconds. 
So we add all those up together. 331, 200, zero, plus 2280, plus 27. This comes to a total of 333507. Can't you just cheat and tap square really fast? Well, apparently, like, it's got to be done before um, the internal game clock ticks over 99 hours. And it is, like, based on if your game time is divisible by 64. So, we're just doing it the scientific method first. Um, so first, let's just do 333,000 divided by 64. Okay, it's not clean. Five hundred divided by sixty four. It's not clean. Okay, 333,504 divided by 64 is a, uh, what do you call it? An integer without decimal points. So we passed it, unfortunately. So the next one will be in 64. So three, three, three. Five, six, eight seconds. Or we add sixty one seconds to our current time, sixty one seconds to that. So thirty eight minutes 27 we're at 61 seconds Thirty nine minutes 28 yep okay so let's try that math <clears throat> Thirty nine times 60 Twenty-eight seconds. Three, three, one, two, two, plus two, three, four, zero, plus twenty-eight. Yep. <clears throat> so who? The next one is going to be. Do you see the timer at the bottom? It's going to be um, 92H3928. Oh, cool. So that's a nightmare. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a reason why it's called the evil flag. This shit's evil, isn't it? on this boys when it hits the 28 
Okay, so... Okay. Um, I must have been very slightly off. But, look, this is okay. This is okay because we're actually on the right track. If we have a look at the, um, the map here... I probably pressed it, like, slightly late. It's fine. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing it that way. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it that way. But the thing is, we can speed up time. Um... Yeah. Because really, um, we're only concerned with, um... When I load up the save, we barely miss the, the, the previous one. So we get the two faces, and then we go to the very next one. And then boom. And then we either get it, or we have to reset anyway. So remember, it's 92 hours, 39 minutes, and 28 seconds that we're looking for. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get going. Start. Isn't this fun? Are we having fun? Let's let's put that in achievement set. Ninety-two thirty-nine twenty-eight. We missed the last one because by the time we um get the slot going, like it's already like um it's already past the point. Only very slightly, but yeah. So like, okay, if we count backwards, it should be 92 hours, 38 minutes, 24. Hmm, 24 seconds. But as you can see, when we start, yeah, by the time we get the, the... Oh, maybe we might be able to get it really quick. Okay, okay, okay. Like, getting... Do, do you see how it's... it's? Yeah, by the time the battle starts, like... It's already... It's it's too... Mummy! You know what I mean? It, it's too much. It's too much. That's why it's best to wait for the next one. But remember, um, yeah, every minute and four seconds, that's it. But it's just, it's, it's just figuring out, like, when, like, based on the amount of time that's passed, like, am I close to that point? Once you pinpoint one, then you can work from there, but if you don't even have a reference point, then it's a bit rough. Like, you just haven't stabbed in the dark. Inside stab in Nintendo. Do tell. Is that like a special meaning or something that I'm not aware of? 